The book of John 1. I'm reading just verse 1 together. Let's read together. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, just, just verse 1 together. Okay. I want to explain this as taught in the series about Jesus. Pastor explained better what this place means. In the beginning was the word means God in the beginning had a plan, had an intention. And what it means by, and the word was with God. He's not saying God was separate and the word was separate. He's saying that the origin of the plan, the origin of the intention of God, you know the plan of God was salvation, right? It was from the beginning. So the origin of that plan was from God. And what he meant by the word was God is saying that God himself will be the one to carry out that plan. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 14 together. He said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and will be his glory he... full of grace and truth. Okay, so the, the Bible said the word was made flesh. So if the word as written in, in verse 1 said, if the Bible said the, the word was God, that means the word was made flesh should be a physical representation of a plan. Okay, so let's see from the scripture what how that plan came to realization. Let's read Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 15. Let's read from verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. So the Bible said, Christ is the image of the invisible God. Let's read verse 2 for um, chapter 2 verse from verse 8 for clearer understanding. Let's read together. Let's any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of God, of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, in God, in Christ, dwelleth all the fullness of God. That means there is nothing remaining. There is no deepness that you find outside Christ. Any deepness you find outside Christ is I sound nonsense. Hallelujah. All of God is found in Christ. Glory to God. So because of this, we can fully know who God is. We cannot be confused because we know our Father. And let's read verse, verse 10. He said, And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and powers. Hallelujah. The Bible said we are complete in him. That means you have the whole of God inside of you. You are complete in Christ. That means you can fully know God. God cannot be mysterious to you. Don't feel like God is too deep. You hear people saying God is too deep. I can't, I, I can't understand. He's so deep. No, God is not so deep. You can fully know God in Christ. Glory to God. So let's go back to John. John 1. I'm reading verse 18 now, lastly. Are we there? The Bible said, No man had seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he had declared him. So what the Bible meant by no man has seen God? It means no man means no man. Glory to God. No prophet. It was only Christ that could explain God fully to us. And when he said, which was in the bosom of the Father, he's not saying Jesus was like a sidekick of God or was a houseboy of God, somebody in heaven, somehow, somehow that God had to send. Jesus is not a messenger. Jesus is the message. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said, he had declared him. That means Christ declared God. He made God bear. He exposed God to us. Like that invisible God that we have been, we have been looking for. Glory to God. Jesus came 
Of God, He's played us a man.